<laughs> I know I know it was a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, but I got it on PBR, so it's still awesome. Everybody's still pumped up over Crosby's goal. Wasn't that awesome? It was so, so cool when we beat the Americans in hockey. It was amazing, you know what I mean? It was so cool, and it was like, like one of the only times I've actually liked being here in Toronto because everybody was so happy, and it wasn't just Toronto, it was a, we're just a nation of proud Canadians. We were so proud to be Canadian for about a fucking hour and a half. <laughs> and then those god-awful closing ceremonies started. Did anybody see that? What a fucking train wreck that was. <laughs> Horrible. This is how bad the Olympic closing ceremonies were. They started off with a mime, and they got worse. <laughs> A mime is the shittiest form of entertainment. How do you go downhill from that? I'll tell you how. William Shatner. Uh, William Shatner. William Shatner comes on. He does his big old. My name is William Shatner, and I am Canadian when the occasion calls for it. Yeah. yeah I'm William Shatner. I've lived in America for over 40 years. I couldn't tell you who the prime minister is, but if you're going to give this old watch a worldwide television exposure, well then, oh Canada. I own a native land. Piss off, Bill. Go back to America, all right? You're about as Canadian as a Jamaican patty, okay? <laughs> okay? So Bill bombs, and then who comes out? Catherine O'Hara. And I love Catherine O'Hara. Who doesn't love Catherine O'Hara? You know, very talented comedic actress. So funny on SCTV. But there comes a point in every woman's life when they have to come to the realization that, you know what? My cleavage looks utterly repulsive. <laughs> Okay, just terrible. Okay, Kathy, you're 56 years old. Say no to the plungy neckline, okay? 56, just throw on a turtleneck for Christ's sake. So you got nothing left to prove, honey, okay? So she comes and she bombs. And then, and then who comes up? Michael J. Fox. And it's like, okay, finally, we're going to get this thing on track. All right, here's Michael J. Fox. So you figure he's going to talk about perseverance. He's going to talk about overcoming adversity. And he's the perfect guy to do it. What's he do? More bad comedy. More bad comedy from Michael J. Fox. What a wasted opportunity that is. You got Michael J. Fox, and all you do is bad comedy with him. You know what that would have been like? That would have been like when the Americans had Ali in Atlanta in 96. Instead of having him light the Olympic flag, they just had him do this. They just had him do the. Uh, and now, here to say a few words, please welcome the greatest of all time, Mr. Muhammad Ali. When you're driving in your Chevy, and you feel something heavy, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> Michael just had armpit farts for four minutes. <laughs> Horrible. It was terrible. And so I was like, oh man, this, thing's a, this thing is just awful. But then who comes out? Neil Young comes out and it's like, okay, cool. It doesn't matter the fact that he's dressed like an undertaker in a little spaghetti western. Just the weirdest outfit I've ever seen Neil Young wear. And he's a weird dude. But, but, but Neil Young sings this song and he's awesome. It's like, okay, finally we got this thing going on the right path. And we're like, okay, we're going we're gonna to close this thing up strong. But what do we do after that? We take one step forward, 5,000 steps back. Because what do we have after Neil Young? We have the parade of stereotypes. The parade of stereotypes. Beavers and moose and hockey players. What is wrong with us? So instead of trying to... Instead of vanquishing our, ser our stereotypes, we're celebrating them. What is wrong with that? China didn't do that, you know what I mean? The Beijing closing ceremonies didn't feature 500 guys with chef hats and knives and forks chasing after dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and then them all getting into a bunch of cars and crashing into each other. <laughs> Getting out of their huff, <laughs> getting out of their crushed automobiles and just chucking female babies into an incinerator. <laughs> yeah, oh me, like it's my policy. Yeah. <laughs> so you figure it's terrible. It's like, well, it can't get any worse than that. And then what happens? The fucking much music countdown starts. <laughs> Those musical acts. Oh my God, Nickelback, Simple Plan, hit me. My God, what, what was that? The Olympics or stage two at Edgefest? What was that? What was that? Oh my God, it was like somebody found an old big shiny tune CD. <laughs> Neil Young opened for Avril Lavigne. That makes fucking sense. <laughs> 
Corbin, and then who's the big name to close it out? Who's the huge Canadian superstar? Chaos. Chaos, really? Were the swollen members booked? What? <laughs> Chaos, very talented, <laughs> very, very talented rapper, very talented rapper from Toronto that eight people know about, okay? I have more fans than fucking Chaos. I'm surprised the guy doing the announcement didn't go, and now to close out the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Winter Games, whoever the fuck this dude is. 